guys! Today we're going to be doing a craft and talking about the story of Noah's Ark. So this story starts when a big flood was coming and it was going to cover the entire world. So because the flood was coming, God picked a man named Noah and told him to build a big boat or an ark. And he told him to take a bunch of animals two of some type of animals, and then seven of other types of animals, and put them all on the ark. And then he told Noah and his family, Noah to take his family and put them on the ark as well, so that when the flood came, the boat would float in the water, and they would all be safe from the flood. Now, Noah and his family, once it started raining, were in the boat for 40 days. That's a very long time to be stuck inside on a boat with just your family and a bunch of animals. Now, we've all been stuck inside for a long time, but at least we have Netflix and TV and things to do. Noah and his family didn't have anything to do while they were on the ark. And they didn't even know when they were going to be able to leave the ark. They didn't know when the flood was going to stop. So in order to figure out when it was safe to leave the boat, when, um, there was going to be some dry land, Noah sent out a bird. He sent out the bird three times because the first time he sent out the bird, the bird ended up coming back because he couldn't find any spot to land. So the bird came back to Noah and Noah waited a week and then he sent the bird out again. This time the bird came back with a little olive branch, meaning that somewhere there was some dry land. But Noah still waited with his family in the ark, and then another week after, he sent the bird out again. And this time, the bird didn't come back at all, which told Noah that there was some dry land somewhere, and the bird had been able to find a home. So that told Noah that very soon they were going to be able to find this dry land and leave the ark. So our craft today is I'm going to teach you how to make a bird out of a sock. Now this is a pretty uh, simple craft. It's not that hard to do. All you need is a sock. I'm gonna be using this pink sock. Some sort of um, string or yarn or something. I'm gonna use this pink yarn because it kind of matches my pink sock. But you can use whatever you have. You can even use a rubber band if you want. And then you're also gonna need some paper and some markers, some glue, and then something to stuff your sock with. Um, if you have stuffing at home or cloth, you can use that. Um, you can also use napkins. I'm going to use some paper towels. Whatever you have to stuff your sock. Whatever you have that'll work. So the first step is to go find a sock. Now make sure you ask your parents what sock it's okay for you to use for this project. Because once you make this sock into a bird, you're not going to be able to wear it again. So I'm going to take my pink sock, and the first thing we're going to do is make the head of the bird. So to make the head, I'm going to take my paper towel, or you can use whatever you're using for stuffing, and I'm going to make it into a circle. I'm going to make it just into a little ball like that. And however big your ball is, is how big the head of the bird is going to be. So I'm going to put that all the way at the end of the sock and then kind of squish it around until I like the shape of it. And that's going to be the head of my bird. So then to finish the head, I'm just going to take a piece of this string and I'm going to tie it pretty tight right below where I put the stuffing. So I'm just gonna tie it so that it looks like this to make the head. And I'm gonna tie a double knot to make sure that it doesn't come undone. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna have this little tail here. So I'm just gonna snip that off so you don't really see it. So that's the shape of the head of the bird. Now this is gonna be the body. So once I'm finished with the head, I'm gonna start stuffing the body. 
So to do that, I'm just gonna take more paper towels and scrunch them up and put them into the sock. Now the body's gonna be bigger than the head, so I'm gonna use more stuffing for the body than I did for the head. Now, I'm gonna just put one more in. Now there's gonna be a little bit of extra sock left over in the back. And that's okay because we're gonna use that to make the tail feathers of the bird. So once I like the way the body looks, I'm gonna put another piece of string right here so that we have a head, a body, and then this is gonna be the little tail feathers. So I'm gonna take this piece of yarn and then just tie it around right here. And then you can kind of fluff it up and tell us the shape that you like. Okay. Now, it just looks kind of lumpy. So we got to make it look like a bird. So the most important thing to make it look like a bird is the beak and the eyes. So I used some paper and I cut out two white circles and then I put some dots in the middle to make two eyes. And then I got some orange paper. I folded it in half and cut a triangle to make a little beak. And so now I'm just gonna glue all of this onto my bird. I have a, um, a little bowl of glue right here. And I'm gonna put some of this glue onto my beak right here. And then I'm gonna put the beak right about there. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to do the eyes. So I'm gonna take this eye put some glue on the back of it, and then glue it to one side. Just right there, right above the beak. And then I'm gonna glue this eye to the other side. Now have your eyes and your beak on your bird. Now if you want to, you can also make some wings. I'm gonna go get um, some paper to make my wings because I forgot to bring it over here. I'm gonna use this pink paper to make my wings just because it matches my bird. So to make the wing, I'm just gonna cut a straight line and then curve it and then cut right back. So this is the shape that I want my wing to be. And then once I cut it, 
I'm gonna fold to make a little tab, and that's where I'm gonna glue it to my bird. Just like that. So I'm gonna take some more glue, put it on that little tab that I made. And then I'm gonna stick it to my bird, just kind of on an angle. And now because I made this little tab, the wing will stick out a little bit. And I'm gonna do that same thing one more time so that he has a wing on both sides. So I'm gonna cut out the same shape. I'm gonna fold that little tab, put some glue on it. And then I'm gonna stick it right to the other side of the bird. Again, kind of on a little bit of an angle. So now my bird has wings and he can fly. So if you wanna keep decorating your bird, you could color in the wings or you can even use a marker and color on the body of the bird. You can make some feathers to put in his tail. You can do whatever you want to make your little bird. And as always, if you do make this bird and you want me to see it, you can have your parents take a picture and email it to me so that I can see what your bird looks like. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you next week with another craft. Bye.